What's going on gamers? Today, we're going to go over how to change your server version with Apex Hosting. As a server host, you might decide to try a different version of Minecraft or a selection of our other games. Having this ability to change versions is a great way to keep both yourself and your community engaged with the server. But in most cases, switching a server can be a daunting task, since there are often a ton of configurations, files, and more that need to be added. Luckily, our server panel provides an easy drop-down menu to access the large selection of games with just a few clicks. And with our server profile function, you can quickly and efficiently switch between games without needing any additional downloads. Choosing a new game version can be achieved with a couple of clicks and has a ton of options to choose from. Keep in mind that the new version will not take effect until the server has been restarted and it will not delete any of the old files. To do this, head to your Apex server panel and scroll down to the game file section and open the drop down menu. From here, you can find the game or version that you want to play. And when you're done with that, you can click on your choice and press change version when prompted. Finish out the rest of the prompts and then restart the server. Now, an excellent alternative to outright changing the server's version whenever you want a small change is to make use of our server profile function. When this is enabled, this option allows you to swap between different profiles that can have their own games and configurations. In addition to this, all of the files are kept in their own folders, meaning there will be no overlap when switching the version. This is a great option if you plan to try something new, but plan to switch back to your original server files later on. And in some cases, you might wish to remove any files from an old version to preserve file organization and prevent any confusion. While we recommend using the server profile feature for this, it can also be done in your existing server directory. From the main panel page, stop the server, and then log into the FTP file access on the left-hand side. Using the checkboxes, you can select any files or folders you want to remove, and then you can click the delete button at the top of the page and then submit. After that, you can head back and change the version or restart the server as desired to generate new files. Alternatively, you can do this through our automatic server file deletion tool. From the main panel page, stop the server and wait until it is completely marked as offline, and then press the reset server files button on the left hand side. Within this prompt, select the files that you want to delete, and then press reset server, enter the word reset, and click reset server again. After this, the selected files will be removed, allowing you to change the server version or restart the server to generate new ones. If your server is not loading after changing versions, there can be a couple different reasons this can happen, but first, check the console to see if there are any specific messages that can be found. When switching to a new game, a lot of times it does just take a few minutes, which will be reflected in the console. But if you have switched to a pre-made game type for Minecraft, there might be file conflicts and it might require you to install it on a fresh server profile for it to function. Being able to change the server version or completely change the game is a great way to use your server to the best of its ability. And with the option to completely change it and have server profiles to keep them separate, you'll always have something new to do, making this an amazing option. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.